welcome i'm back y'all with another video this is going to be for the remainder of december going into the new year 2021 january all right so this is going to be for my scorpio sun moon rising venus north node all right so if you have scorpio anywhere in your chart in those areas you can utilize this video all right so don't forget if you are new go ahead and click the bell to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos make sure you click that bell so y'all can get on the notification gang okay um as well guys if you would like to book a personal reading um that information is in the drop box below as well as you can check out the website guys there are still a few items still left but i am currently restocking for january okay so let's talk let's talk let's talk my scorpios let's see what messages we have for scorpios please All right, at the bottom of the deck, we got the two of swords. So maybe you're undecide, undecided about something. You have a, you know, you feel like you're at a fork in a row. Some of y'all aren't sure if you want to get a divorce uh, or if you want to get out of a contract of some sort. Some of y'all feel like something isn't fair, something isn't right. Could be dealing with the court system as well. Like something didn't work for some of you. Someone here, a few may have lost their job. Okay. So let's see what we got. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Queen of Pentacles, Death, Page of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Seven of Cups. Yeah, see, you, you feel like you have to make up your mind. There's a decision that you need to make. And I feel like it's about your finances. It's about your financial situation. It's about your stability. For some of you, I am seeing like a separation or like a divorce or, to, you know, money for a new place. Or some of you um, are getting ready to be married. Okay. So with the Queen of Pentacles here, why is the Queen of Pentacles here? You could be dealing with a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. Okay, but yeah, see, with the Seven of Swords, yeah, there could be disagreements or arguments about money. Okay, there may be a disagreement about money. We got the Five of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so there's definitely disagreements in regards to finances and money. Okay, maybe you feel like somebody took something from you or, you know, um, weren't honest about their finances yeah see like you're having regrets okay you're having regrets and i feel like you're also watching this person too you're watching someone like maybe someone owes you money and hasn't paid you back yet or something like that but i'm getting like you're spying on possibly a pisces cancer scorpio definitely getting cancer like to see what there was new okay like you're seeing what's new like you're watching somebody but you're you're having regrets okay you're looking back at regrets on a situation yeah someone's definitely um someone here is definitely want to be more financially stable want more money okay definitely definitely so you guys are focused on your money. Some of you may be uh, communicating with the boss about money, about money missing from your check or something like that. Yeah, you're like you're waiting to see what this person is going to say. Yeah. And Page of Pentacles is about small, small, you know, maybe someone owes you something small. But it's definitely about somebody giving you what's owed to you or what's due all right eight of pentacles you feel like you worked hard for it so give it back to me yeah 
Death card is Scorpio's energy. Let's see why Death card is here. Yeah, Eight of Wands. You haven't spoken to this person since, okay? When they need you, they came to you crying, uh, talking about their financial situation and how messed up it was. I feel like you might have helped them out, okay? You might have been, you know, helped them out. Helped them out. But you haven't talked to them or spoken to them since. So I feel like somebody owes you money. And I'm getting, don't make me come find you. <laughs> don't make me come look for you. All right. For some of you, this is a female that you may have uh, looked out for. A mother, even possibly an aunt. Um, could be a Libra or a Taurus. I'm getting that as well, too. But however the case may be. Okay. Yeah, that's slow to pay you back. <laughs> they just moving a little slow to pay you back. So I feel like someone owes you some money. Okay, bitch better have my money. And that's on period. <laughs> and so you feel like you got to chase them down to get your bag, to get your money back. Mm -hmm. So you've been asking about it. But they was quick to come get it, but slow to give it back. That's what I'm feeling like. Yeah. Some of you are thinking about uh, a relationship, possibly rekindling or a new relationship, okay? You think about this a lot. Like, you think about how to resolve some issues in the past. There may have been a separation, okay? I'm, pick I'm picking up on, like, some of you guys may have separated from someone. Um, and you're possibly considering, like, thinking about whether to renew this relationship, rekindle, Okay, but it looks like moving ahead, we got four of wands for the future energy. It looks like that's stability, okay? That's also um, home life. Some of you are spying on a Leo, okay? Or Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, yeah, you're confident. You want to be confident in your decision because um, I do feel like you are going to go ahead and make some type of final decision on something with the judgment card here. Why, what is this decision? Why is it seven of cups here? The sun card. Okay, you're going to be happy that you uh, made a decision. There may have been some delays, and it could have possibly been because of money. Okay, but that chapter has closed. Okay, this was some karmic lesson as well. I feel like some of y'all are deciding on whether to cut out or um, cut yourself out of a contract with someone or possibly like a divorce, but something has definitely ended. Something that just wasn't working for you, okay? Something that just wasn't working. It was toxic, okay? We got the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, female here. But I'm getting like, for some, y'all are happy that y'all made the decision that y'all did. Y'all, there may have been a little bit of delays and it could have been caused... Because of finances, but it looks like the opportunity has presented itself again. You went ahead and jumped and made a, a good decision. And I feel like you're closing that chapter out. How others are viewing you, we got a queen of wands over here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Somebody may feel like you have walked away from them. Okay. Somebody may feel like you are long gone and you're on to something or someone new. Uh-huh. They've been waiting on you to express yourself. Yeah, they've been waiting on you to express yourself. And I keep getting a divorce here with the Ten of Swords and the Justice card. It keeps coming out. But this person wants to know if you're going to work on that situation or are you going to leave? Okay. Mm. Three of Swords and your hopes and fears. Yeah, there's a third party here. Three of Swords and the Three of Cups. And the King of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah, Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and we got the Eight of Swords in the Moon. So this is keeping you up at night. You're thinking about this so much, this situation so much that it is like keeping you up at night. Okay, this is something that's like keeping you up at night. Maybe you you feel like you it was the best thing for you to wait to make a certain decision on on something because I feel like you was over playing a situation over and over and over again in your head. There's getting ready to be some shocking news. 
Fool, this page of swords. Y'all spying on somebody. Y'all watching the hell out of somebody. Could be an Aquarius. But I'm just getting like, there's getting ready to be some big news. Some big news. Something big is occurring. I don't see nothing bad. I just see like, maybe you guys were planning something. Um, you're happy that you waited to make this decision. Because you had to get some things in order. But it looks like I'm also seeing third party energy here as well too. Tell me more about this third party. Tell me more about this third party. Yeah, this third party could be a uh, Leo Sagittarius Aries, but I am getting you know sexual energy here. Okay, so I feel like for some there is a third party involved. Okay. Someone could possibly be married as well, too. Um, and someone's trying to push somebody out of the home. Um, somebody's trying to make somebody feel sorry for them as well, too. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Okay. They may want to close the chapter or may want you to close the, close the chapter or they feel like this is your chance. To finally close this chapter. And they're at a crossroads as well too. And they're trying to keep the attention on them as well. There's an opportunity here. There's some type of opportunity. But, but they see that you are having some types of worries or like problems or issues. Okay. Somebody... Maybe you're telling, talking to them about their issues or they're talking to you about their issues. But I keep getting that someone here is married. Could be, I keep picking up on Leo's energy as well too. But they want to see if you're going to hold on to them or if you're going to make a decision. Like, are you going to stick around or are you going to leave? Okay. Might have the flesh to gay yeah. Might have the flesh to gay yeah. I've been listening to that listening to Erica Badu all day yesterday and I just keep singing that song. You know we got the black on at the day. Danger. Alright. What messages advice do you got for my Scorpios? Within the next few months. Somebody's going to be looking or asking for forgiveness. And there are going to be some changes. Give me one more card. We got yes. Yes to what? Meditation is going to bring you answers. So some of you guys definitely need to take some time and think things through. Okay? Don't rush to make a decision. Um, things definitely need to be sought out and uh, worked on. Within the next few months, what's going on? We got the star card. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay. Some of you are going to get your answer. Okay, um, some of you, the answer is going to be no, but I feel like some of y'all just are unsure which route to take. Some of y'all are afraid of the outcome or afraid of how something is going to go. Okay, the hangman for forgiveness here. We got a cancer could be waiting for you to apologize. Yeah, the tower. Is your you guys' energy in the justice card, Libra? Yeah, they want somebody here wants wants justice to be served. They saw something that did not sit with them well, and they want justice to be served. Okay, so we got big happy changes, five of swords. Okay, so somebody's regretting. Yeah, somebody's regretting lying about their finances or their money or. Lying about a third party here. This third party could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or someone who's very focused on the pentacle. Like their intentions are very uh, money based or tangible things based. And then I got that Ace of Wands. That's what I'm saying. Like someone could be, that could be the third party. Okay. Five of Swords. Yeah, somebody's trying to mess up somebody's relationship. With the Queen of Cups, okay? And the Queen of Cups is not happy here at all.
And then I'm telling you, I got the Ten of Swords. I got the Ten of Swords in um, the Ten of Swords in the Ten of Pentacles. So that could definitely be, like I said, someone is could be talking about getting a divorce or separating. Okay, and there's that Leo again. Okay, there's that Leo again. Now, why do we have yes here? Someone's taking a slow time and is disappointing you. Um, something's moving really slow. Yeah, somebody got some options here. The Queen of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Somebody's really moving really, really slow. I feel like it's you guys. We got the King of Cups here. Some of y'all are moving really, really slow to make a decision on a commitment or a marriage here. Um, because there is a plethora of other options. And somebody feels, you guys are possibly trying to hold on to all your options, okay? Y'all trying to hold on to all of your options. Um, Y'all trying to hold on. To every little option so some for some of you is you guys is that or that is you know can't make up your mind don't know what it is that you want so y'all got a decision to make okay all right scorpios i hope this message was helpful all right so um until next time guys i will chat with y'all it's possibly going to be in 2021 all right until next time y'all ciao